the sound of the heater I have on. Sorry about that. Just wanted to talk about, I don't know what next. Uh, well, I have a good garden going. I'm happy about that. I should be watering right now so some of the water can get up into the roots before it evaporates all day. Anyway, I um, might be getting a little warmer. It's nearing my dad's birthday now. We just had Mother's Day. It's usually the Sunday before my dad's birthday that Mother's Day sparks. And I've always thought that that was wonderful, you know. I think about my mom and then my dad's birthday comes up. It's kind of a reminder. Well, it's really the Taurus reminder um, all together. See, you know, he's a Taurus. And the Mother's Day is not coincidental that it falls at that at this time of year. Um, it's more the Buddha. You know, if you want to talk about it, see, because they they give it a, a, a gender connotation, which I guess we could just make a holiday for every little fucking thing, but the vibrational frequency of the of the of mother which, okay, I tried to describe the feminine and the, the, the flower, the yin, the surrendered, the spontaneous emotion, you know, that moves towards, let's say, soothing, keeping it safe. And that's discipline, babes. We, I didn't just say, um, we, we, we need to keep everybody a potato head and and form a blob out of everybody's body. No, just just being that alone is going to shape you up pretty good, but um, don't need to live a life that is like you're just constantly defending the process that's already in process. Like say, uh, you know what I mean? Like d defending that something that is that doesn't need so much work to be there begin with it's like stop let it go kind of thing you see um cornering the market on a, on a drop of water yeah you can and see i see the the monetary system plain and simple i'll be able to explain to you in a few weeks or a month in a few words so that a five-year-old could understand more intricately because most people are blind and they don't see that, that that's an encapsulating system fully limiting our perception. I mean, it, it's a hilarious, it's a hilarious thing that's going on. It, it's not funny. It's it, when you back way up into intergalactic stuff, uh, some, something must is laughing at this. The people that are, that are, um, involved with all the joking which is not funny it's a comedy horror which you can tell that you know you look at the their creation which is your favorite subject matter narcissists um they don't handle their programming well they see it and it's like why don't why don't i make sense and then it's like uh how do they mask that inner turmoil that, in fact, the system creates. How do they create it, Shauna? Well, they create it through, this, through your education system. The cerebral narcissist is the most common thing, and then there's a lot of other stems with that. But to me, narcissism and cerebral, which cerebral means mind, and then narcissism, what's that? That's a fucking name pointing at the, the fact that there's the mind there. So cerebral narcissists, you just say, mind, mind. Yeah, the mind, 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 mind. I'm more real than now. Let's just keep it at that. You can waste your time going in loops with that thing. When you realize it's a, it's a loop to loop there that can't get out, won't get out, refuses to get out, it's actually playing that joke on you, fucking turn your back. They're using your energy that is, see, the binary processor and or mind or narcissist. They're envious of your connection to your body, to God, to reality, the truth, the universe, everything. They're just, they're like, how do you, how, see, and, and 
it's not only MB, but they want to tap it. It's and it's easy to tap it, right? They, they, you can hate them, and they they've tapped your energy. It's like they would much rather play that game. That's the only, that's the one that they know best. That's how they. That's why how they get their energy is all upside down and backwards. They come from a family that they greet each other by just slugging each other in the arm, saying hello. And there's a bruise there, and they're like, it's love, and it's just it's so not. They are fucking stuck magnetic electrically talk about it like this like a hive of misery misery hunt like that try the word that i did you did you, did you my new people take the two words apart that are in the word atheist and look at it there's two words find them they're just there it's at a t and then now what's the next spell it out Somebody is being robbed. Somebody is being robbed. <laughs> and it's not even Sunday. I'm getting mixed up by, with my days, by the way. Hanging out with the binary processing plant. <laughs> Projector plant from hell. All right. Thank you for um, listening to this. Uh, sometimes I wonder if bringing all of this stuff is good for me. Um, but I am an entertainer. This is supposed to amount to something for me if I keep going. <laughs> Not for me, babes. We have an organism that's in trouble, and if you don't, and if one person can't get something different of the death cult system that has one plan for you, and that's just to keep us. And really, anything goes out there, really. And it's, and, and, but the main thing, want to talk about misery? Misery. The miserable, the miserable, the miserable, sorry, who, oh my God, you know, there's a lot of people that I run into and really honestly, they, they say this, they say, this is not my world. I don't, I don't like it here. See, I get this, this conversation a lot and I'm like, all right, I have to deal. Why, why is this? John? They sense something about you that, that they're, they're kind of, they're kind of like clicking out of the world and they're going, Jesus Christ. You see, I, I have a little contact with, it's, it's, I don't contact with people much, but when I do, <laughs> I just grew a beard and now I'm holding a beard. Um, <laughs> I love me and narcissists hate that self-love that you may have. You say, I have interests in my love. I, I have love in my life that is my interests. And you can't see the, 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 the trick with people, narcissists, and love in your life is that you don't allow people in your life that don't have those same, that same interest, at least that most likely, but, but mainly interest in you loving your interests, your love. If they can't love you, you loving your interests and your love and, and, and be showered with the fruits of your love and your labor, those aren't your people. If they're not like, and the thing is, it's reciprocal. See, just them asking you to be yourself and, and they want to know, what are you doing today with you? Like your love, the love that you have, your interests that is your love life. If they're not interested in that and can't really keep it the delicacy it is and say, ah, oh, and take a little bit of it and say, I got, see, I just noticed that I got a note from the eggs. It means a lot to me that they wrote it very carefully with a happy face. And, they, I, and, and I can't wait. They said, they, I can't wait to try the eggs. I, I wrote a little, see, this is the metaphor. And now I want to make this video a little longer for people. Put this on a Sunday. Take our time here. Babes, but the, when I'm not, this story, I'm going to tell you about the egg. Might be something that Mercury and Taurus gets into is just they get kind of they, they might get cynical. I'm afraid of it almost. It's like if there isn't an earthquake and we don't start talking about the earth, what are we going to talk about now when Mercury goes into Taurus? They are. I mean, I'm sorry. I've always noticed Taurus. It's, it's a kind of a joke out there. It's like okay, 
That's a Taurus over there. They're kind of, they're in their stable. It's really stubborn, okay? And, but, and they're like, there isn't anything more or less than this, all right? You got your water, food. Oh, God, that crap was good, wasn't it? Yes, I just took one. Move away from that. Have a little sex. Come over here. Sit in the sun. Run away from your crab house, by the way, that, that moment. <laughs> but you get Taurus, by the way. It's like, Aquarius is like, sure, but we are. <laughs> Here's George Jetson. And they're looking down at the cows going, whatever, you know. If you're sovereign and free, you can have your space ship. It's like a relationship. But you can have a space. Okay. Let's talk about the egg. The egg. One of the things I see. The, the trippy thing about it is like it's not. It's nobody's responsibility. You want to make a good breakfast out of those potential souls. All of you eating eggs for breakfast. Soul Eaters! Getting back to my sweet little story. It's actually a very religious, highly profound one that you can take for the rest of your life and pass it down from generation to generation to gen in case you want to manifest an actual human civilization, which hasn't happened yet. We have to make it quiet for the story. Egg. Egg. You know, you want to make a good breakfast, and anybody that has had a chicken's coop, egg coop nest, well, it's easy to have eggs get misplaced, and you don't know, well, how old is that egg, and blah, blah, and, well, you know, and you run into the darn egg that is like, ah, this one is, ah, it almost hatched, or, or it's old, it's no good, and you want to be careful, you cannot, see, this is up to you. The metaphor here is, it's nobody's business but yours. I'm talking about your religion, your spirituality, your faculties, the way you understand everything. God itself, that's a potential soul, by the way. Now let's look at it. Metaphor, please. Metaphor. Do you know what a metaphor is? Get into your meta. It's up to you. See, so so everybody knows that what you do, see what I do, you don't probably, you probably, probably, but then, do we have Mercury at fucking Uranus? Pardon me. Mercury, what 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 degree is it now? I bet you anything it's a 28. Opposing my Mercury. Yep, when you have a... Oh, um, okay, where is it? We're at the 14th, 15th, somewhere in between now and today. We have Mercury hitting my Mercury. Boning my brain out. I'm trying to tell you a story. and, 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 and uh, Believe it or not. A lot of this is going to pass. I, I can't imagine being a Mercury in, in, in Aries. Do you people ever organize anything? Really, can you figure anything out and, and to on, at a deeper level than just confusion and how that it just well somehow it worked. Anyway, getting back to the fucking egg story. Thank God for editing. <clears throat> it's up to you. Your faculties. Is it a good egg or a bad egg? Good experience or a bad experience? Which one are you serving up? That's all up to you, babe. According to, not, you're just your plain imagination. You have to have, have you held the egg? You can have a breakfast now. Everybody knows that, that you crack it inside of a clear container first and you look at it and you say, yep. how do you know a fresh egg? Well, haven't you been doing this all your life? You've been cooking eggs, right? This is the truth. This is the truth for everybody. It's the nature of the truth for everybody. It's the nature of the truth for everybody. It's the nature of the truth for everybody. Now we're talking about your witness. Do you have a witness? 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 It's when you have this experience, and it's up to you. It's up to you. And so you, you're you like, whoa. It's, it's like, that's not supposed to sound like that. Sometimes you can shake them, and it sounds like milk in there. It's like, that. Nah, I wouldn't even crack that. Woo, be careful. I'm talking, this is metaphorical, babes. This is, okay, so it points at your witness, your your own faculties, turning them all on. See, it's nobody's responsibility but yours to figure out 
okay, you, you don't see a lot of you are used to just this is your faith. It's amazing. It's like, whoa, but but where do you get your faith? Is it really from the experience or are you or saying now the industry has it for me? Some other church is going to turn my ass on and tell me about God and the truth. When really, it's your responsibility. And I'm not saying you should own chickens and get your goddamn eggs going. No, this is a metaphor. Please, I'm trying to. So the truth is the metaphor of what we're aiming for. And this is what we're looking at. But you have to have, you have a profound responsibility to adjusting your senses to look into the truth and become a good, good enough witness for everybody. I write on my sign, when I write, um, uh, when I say free eggs, on the very, I put in parentheses, I just, I say free, fresh eggs. And they are, I make sure. I, I know, I know, I'm, I'm a stickler. Um, and I, I put on in parentheses, you know, use your eyes to see. I, I still say that because there could be a chance that I miss that maybe that there's a lot more blood in one or something. Maybe, I don't know, something could happen. Rarely though, I rarely, you know, you'll get probably um 35 eggs for me and maybe one of them will look weird and who knows, you know, and you don't complain about that, narcissists. No, you look at the 29 eggs and say, thank you. Oh, they're all perfect. Thank you. You're perfect. You, you, you looked at it. You found the, you dumped it in the it container. See, a lot of people just take it straight from the carton and they pop it right into the frying pan. No, no, not if you're sovereign and responsible. You check it first. You look. Oh, no, that's good. All of them. Every single one of them. That's a metaphor for your witnessing your um, trust in uh, because other people um, will align or are trying to align with the fucking good breakfast. And you cannot go tither or tither about it. Did you not turn on your faculties and take part in the truth about the unseen scene? You have to get into the less obvious. Boy, the, it's never about the obvious. That's not even the obvious. Is not about, about not even the truth. What is the obvious? What do you mean by obvious? God, because with that scene with their breakfast and stuff, nobody even knows whether whether um. Food comes from and and uh, <clears throat> and that they're eating way too much. Anyway, thanks for listening to that. I don't think I got my point across very well. There was something profound. There's something profound in that. That it's up to you. Um, because um, here's the thing: you want to be part of something much bigger than yourself. That is that. Um, a lot of it's narcissist. They want to do the the hive, um, the hiving up and be part of the group and accepted, and cherished, and tr maybe it's about integrity. A lot of just basically people want to feel good about themselves because they did something right. They want to impress other people. They want to impress themselves. They want to get better at something. Well, you have to turn your faculties on and become a witness as to how it works. And it's nobody's responsibility. See that's, see, that's the thing about the egg. You have it there. And just just be, because you, you cracked the egg and it ended up being a, a rotten one in the pan, sizzling, is not anybody's fault but yours. Because you didn't take into consideration everything. Consider the source kind of a thing. Which really, it, it's you. It's not really the farmer. Although, babes, I'll tell you right now, you're not going to get a bag, bad egg from me because I know all the different ways to tell if it's good without even seeing inside of it. There's a way. It, if, it, if it floats, it's certainly not good. If it spins like an object, it's not good. It'll, it'll stop with the, within hardly a half of a turn. A whole turn. That's a good egg. You can put a light to it. That's the main way I do it. You just put a light to it and you say, okay, that's what it, they all look like. This is good eggs and that's what it looks like. So that's screened. Wash it off really good. Now it looks really good. You know, you don't want colored eggs going in there. The, the chickens do color them. Uh, 
no, um, not really. I mean, there's a little problem going on with their orifice or something. They uh, need to be taken care of, but shit happens, you know. No, they're actually very clean. You'd be surprised. Chickens, the birds, they stay up and all the poop is down there. And, you know, you want to discourage them from... You want to discourage the food, you keep it away from the feces, and don't mix that up. But, but the truth is, is they are very discerning of what they're eating. They're not going to eat turd. They go through that in the beginning. They're like, oh, no, that's not good. That's not good. You can see them. And then that's their whole learning stage is, is what's, good, what's good to just start poking your beak in and what's not. And, man, they're so interesting. I love chickens so much. Main reason is because, and all birds are this way, I'm pretty sure, and it's the entire plasmatic ionosphere. They're fully hooked up into it electromagnetically. You can actually use them. Indians used to use the raven to, for, in an electromagnetic way. They transmit images. You can see over a canyon in what's happening down there through a raven. If you had a pet raven, imagine. You'd be like, let's go see what the Blah Blah tribe is doing over there a couple mountains away. And Because why am I telling you this? Because I experienced it. I've been quiet enough here. I have a friend on Facebook that she runs, a, she really does, is not joking, that she runs to the wilderness and and just hikes. And you can tell, it's like, damn, her, her legs are crazy because she does that. I did that all through my 20s and 30s. It includes walking barefooted on the earth and ground, the rocks, and just in the waterfall babes. I was up and down the creek here just sitting with the waterfalls and so I, I did all of that I have that and a lot of people will say oh no wonder you're unfollow and it's like no you want to know people who who have been away from the university and has made it to the universe every once in a while I mean we know that it's like oh it's just a matter of time before the system um mows us all down hun Talk about Moses. <laughs> Get your um, all of your intellectual property together, and, and because it goes with you, they can't have anything that they don't have it naturally in, tapped as, from the inner core and stored it in. Did you see my last video about the possibility of that happening? As the organism is very complex that way, its DNA is this thing that you want to. Um, if you're some kind, if you want to play God, you want to snag it up and, and recreate it somehow and manage it into existence here in accordance to your what? Well, you can kind of look at it. Is there a desired thing you want? You know, and that's what I'm talking about is like, the reason why I'm going like this is like, women have full um, control Actually, they're in position of power there um, to to make or break that civilization based in, on quality control right at the spigot. She, she starts by becoming a human being. Maybe. See, the, we don't, we see um, a lot of narcissists that take over the, the reproductive, um, industry i guess they turn it into an industry it's you know it's because it's like well but did you, did you ever ask why that you wanted to have a kid a lot of people have a strange religion it's like oh no no it's, it's it's like no no you have to be more conscious than that it's not so hocus pocus that this is all going to be happening because these this is the whole life what is your life like what what is it about your life that you love so much that now you're going to Come on, this, sh this shouldn't be so strenuous, you, it, it, right? You should just be feeling joy. It should be coming out of joy. You should be trash canning me. Say, what, what kind of question is this, right? But, babes, I, I wish I can tell you that I can see people having a great time out there. It's actually getting worse and worse where it's like, I'm wondering, what the fuck kind of planet is this? Am I just not having a great time here and I need to get out of here? No, I think that, um, Jesus, was that you? Yeah, I had a great time. The, the shish kebab was great.
Here, would you like some? That's a great sis kebab. Killed your leader. Eventually it will happen. Get the hell out of here, will you? Eventually is what happens. And like I said, the, the pathetic story goes is everybody gets a little bit, a tiny bit, just a little, not much, of a conscience. They go, oh, God, you know, maybe we shouldn't do that. What should we do? We should build a boardwalk and corner the market on tissue paper. <laughs> 